to this week's session of What's in Store. I'm T-Tech's Senior Marketing Consultant, Erica Helligman, and with me I have the Head of Sales, Amy McDonald. Amy, how are you today? Hey, nice to be with you. Yes, absolutely. Today we're going to be talking about a term that I know everybody is familiar with, and that is Gen Z. And there's no one better to talk to because I know you have two teenagers at home that fall under this category. And so what is the biggest thing that you think you've learned on the way that they spend their money? Man, is it their money or is it my money? Pretty sure it's your money. You will get to that afterwards. Um, (laughs) But it's also, it's really about the methods that they spend, right? Like mobile payments, Apple Pay, Google Pay, banking online, um, you know, calls equate to FaceTime for them. There's no phone dialing, uh, online transferring of of funds when, you know, you're out. Uh, at at uh, restaurants with friends. Candidly, Gen Z is just very digitally based. Uh, they're super conscious of the brands that they support and where they place their loyalty and like how they're influenced uh, about those purchases. Yeah, absolutely. I, I know that Gen Z is considered anyone born after 1996, but everybody's paying attention to them now. And to me, that's still fairly young. Why do you think that they're now considered a force to be reckoned with in the retail world? Well, man, they have a voice and they are not afraid to use it, right? Gen Z spends like an average of between four to five hours a day on social media with all the top platforms. Um, They're super influenced by users rather than celebrity endorsements. In-app purchases uh, from ads is all of the rage these days. And honestly, not only is Gen Z the most diverse generation in the U.S. history in terms of race, in terms of ethnicity, sexual orientation, um, but it's also, you know, the members of this group uh, are very progressive. They're very pro-government. They're very activist minded. Uh, And so they keep they will and continue to have their voices being heard. So this group that's coming up right now, like you mentioned, um, they they were raised in a time of you know mass worker burnout. Um, they make up about twenty seven percent of the workforce right now, and they have about forty four billion dollars in purchasing power. So if we're not listening to what they're saying, we're really missing and leaving out a large portion of our demographic that is purchasing through our brands. Um, You know, Gen Zers see like a really big potential for change, not only in society, but also in the workplace. And they think that their generation is the one that's going to drive it. Um, They're willing to question things. They're confident in doing so. And coming from, uh, you know, the environments that they've come from, they candidly, they know that they hold the power. So Gen Z simply just doesn't, you know, have loyalty to a customer, to a company anymore, unless they've proven that that company is loyal back to them. You you know, it's interesting because in the generation, you know, before them, uh, if someone had a voice, there wasn't really a place to show your voice. And now with Instagram and TikTok and YouTube and everything, whatever your opinion is, you can share it very quickly, very publicly. Um, How do you think that these platforms are playing a role in this? Yeah, I look, I think that... um, Like you've said, this generation definitely has a voice. They're not scared of opinions out there. They're very authentic in who they are and in themselves. Uh, And I think that this generation is really just moving away from traditional ways of what we've thought in the past was the way that we should do things, right? Even when it comes to shopping, you're like, I know that I need a blue shirt. I'm going to find a blue shirt. Let me see who can sell me a blue shirt. Gen Z is more like, let's find something that's really super cool out there. So how do I go about it? And what are the, you know, the forums that are going to take me to these places? And what's the kind of stuff that I didn't even realize that I needed? Um, They're, you know, they're regular users, influencers uh, in user generated content is really, really influencing the way that they shop, the way that they trend. Um, And they're, 
And honestly, Gen Z just works a little bit smarter, not harder than the rest of us. And being online for them is about having expediency. So how would you tell a retailer to reach this generation and to be able to make that connection with them? Yeah. So look, I think that customer experience for Gen Z is even more critical for driving loyalty. You've got to be able to provide a, you know, a constant level of personalization, ease for interaction, um, aligning the social demands with, uh, with their brand. So you know, look, again, Gen Z are digitally native. They never knew a world that didn't have technology. And so understanding how Gen Z and the contact center interact is really about understanding how to leverage the technology to create efficiencies, um, both for you know, the agents internally to be able to serve the customers, as well as for the customers to get to the resolution that they want. So working to make an environment that attracts and, and retains Gen Z uh, customers as well as employees can will not only increase retention rates and employee satisfaction, but it, it will also benefit bottom lines for, for these brands as you know contacts are resolved more quickly with higher satisfaction rates because we're meeting the customer um, in the right channel that they want to be served in. Uh, you know, the, the other part of it that I would that I would say is um, it's really about engaging with the audience where and when they want and having a multi-channel strategy is super important to be integrated uh, to provide that extraordinary customer service and show your customers that you really understand them. Gen Z is not going to be one of these generations that forces the changes. They're going to be a generation that actually teaches us about these changes. Do you think that you know, with the Amazons, with the Sheehan's, with all of these quick to serve shops like that, uh, do you think there's a way to build brand loyalty with Gen Z or are they just seeing what the latest trend is on TikTok? No, I, I do think that there's a way to build loyalty. I think omni-channel is really important. Like I said, you need to be able to access a Gen Z population around the clock across all channels, right? Like 3 a.m. shopping from bed is absolutely real. Um, social commerce, it's critical. Uh, Gen Z wants the ability to buy products that they want on their platforms. So being on TikTok, being on Instagram, being present on Snap, those are all the impl important places for them to be. And social commerce is a $36 billion industry. So when not being there, that really shows. Activism, extremely important. Uh, Gen Z is as we said a new, you know, numerous times, they're extremely vocal about dropping brands, right? Cancel culture is real um, and, and forcing retailers to live up to their standards. 73% of Gen Zers said that they're willing to pay more for sustainable products. Um, and then I think that also builds into like individuality, authenticity, and inclusivity. Uh, not only does Gen Z really demand activism, but they're not going to support a brand that doesn't promote self-expression um, and, and authenticity. So really for us in a contact center, it means that the processes that are in place for both our agents and our customers should really be intuitive and, and very efficient. Um, something that might seems see, have seemed good enough for maybe my generation is definitely not gonna pass the muster with Gen Z. And, and therefore really uh, for our brands out there, finding the right kind of outsourcing partners and technology partners to provide the insights and efficiencies to continually improve uh, is really going to be necessary to drive Gen Z loyalty. That's amazing. I really appreciate the time. I know we kept it short and sweet. Um, so if you guys listening have any other questions on how to uh, talk to Gen Z or how we can help you, uh, please feel free to reach out to Amy McDonald. Uh, you can see how her name is spelled there and uh, amy.mcdonald at ttech.com, or you can visit our website at www.ttech.com. Thank you guys. We'll see you next time. Bye.